Hello and welcome to this video discussing how to take an AutoCAD file and put it into SketchUp and then start working on it. Okay so I've got an AutoCAD file I'm working in AutoCAD 2018 you might be working in AutoCAD 2019 by now. This file is set up using layers and we're going to see how we can preserve some of that layer structure into AutoCAD which will help us out. First thing we need to understand is if we hit save, it will save as an AutoCAD 2018 file. SketchUp doesn't really work well with 2018 files, so we need to back save. So I'm going to go to save as. I'm going to save as an AutoCAD 2000 file. I'm going to make reference to that 2000 in my name because I'm not going to overwrite my original one because I want to maintain that as a more modern version of AutoCAD. So AutoCAD 2000 and hit save. Place that out. Jumping over to SketchUp. Here's a default SketchUp. I'm going to get rid of the human being. And I'm going to go File, Import. Make sure I'm looking for AutoCAD files. Might not already be on here. Um, there's my AutoCAD files. I've navigated to where my file is and I'm going to select it hit import so you see we have layers and these are some of the layers that came in from the AutoCAD let's turn off our furniture layer because that will confuse us as we're drawing okay so we've got some lines in here they're all grouped together at the moment so I need to explode them so if I select it right click and explode and let's jump to our walls external layer and we'll work on the external walls so at the moment these lines aren't giving us the hatch in the middle as you would expect if we were to just draw lines on the floor you get a grey hatch so let's use these lines to get that it's quite easy get your line tool and just fill in a little part of that line and you see the rest of it auto fills in it finds that closed shape as long as your AutoCAD drawing was accurate then you can do that so we've got that let's do the same for here that's a bit of external wall and we'll do the same there we only have to do a little part of the line and it gets it so these are walls external but at the moment these are individual lines and we want to be working in components so an easy way to do this is hold your control button double click on the hatch that selects the hatch and all of the lines bounding that hatch do the same here whilst I'm still holding my control I'm going to get all of those three shapes I'm going to hit G on my keyboard which turns them into a component making sure that that is ticked there so that's a component I'm going to jump to my walls internal layer and I'm going to do the same thing. Now one thing that's different is I can't just do a little line now and it works because I've stolen the end of that shape there into this form so I need to replace it and then I start getting that. So that will be the same there and there but I can go around doing that as well so let's close that off close that off that will do for that and I shall do the same move as I did before I'm going to hold my control double click double click double click I'll get all of those hit G on the keyboard make sure that's still ticked and that creates a component of those okay I'm going to jump to my walls external again no I'm going to stay on the walls internal let's do it that way double click into this new component and I'm going to use the push pull tool pull this up as I start pulling up I'm going to type 2500 you can see it in the bottom left of my screen and then hit enter that's a two and a half meter high wall I'm going to start using the push pull tool and pull this one up but I'm not going to bother typing 2500 I'm just going to grab the top of this wall and snap to it and that will make that equal to that. Same again there. This space bar and escape gets me out of that. 
double click into this component and do whoop, apologies just jumping around pull that up grab the top of that pull that up grab the top of that I forgot my little bit of wall there so same again grab the top of that now this has a window gap in it here I'm going to draw up here, I'm going to start moving up and I'm going to type 900 which is going to give me a snap point there which I can then draw across that face now I can push pull this part to match there and tidy off by getting rid of that little line I'm going to draw a line up and I think I shall do 1200 which gives me a point there I'm going to do the same and then push pull across to there get rid of that little line get rid of that get rid of that all of them not needed okay so we're getting somewhere with this design and that'll do for this video thanks very much